already. The battle has begun. Micah, the strong stardom warrior of Donna Del Mondo, collides with her best friend Himeka, the Jumbo Princess, in a battle that will be Himeka's last. This battle of two strong warriors stubborn to the bone and refusing to let the other have momentum. Micah hits her best friend with the finisher of her trainer, the Michinoku Driver, and hits another but then begins to lose it. The emotions of the match have swelled and Micah forgets the stakes of the match, focusing on one solid fact. Her best friend will retire after this. Once she wins, that's it. Micah suddenly doesn't want the match to end, but she doesn't want to lose either. She lifts up Hameka and begs her, please kick out for once. Can these wrestlers fight forever? A swift, emotional clash of heads. Himeka's career started in 2017 in Akira's Girl Z and it ends in 2023. Five solid years of a wrestling career, 446 matches. At 25 years old, she made a very adult decision to step away from her career with a whole lifetime ahead of her to do anything she wants. Prior to her decision, Himeka sadly lost her father, and this coupled with the way her career was going seemed to have led Himeka to deeply think about her future. If this is what Himeka thinks is best, then it's what is best. How I feel about the matter is almost indifference, almost sad when the talent isn't able to reach a level I know they can reach, the loss of potential to the art, but ultimately I don't hold as near of emotional attachment to Himeka or Micah that I know many others really, really do. And that's fine because I respect them both highly, but this retirement angle did not hit me anywhere close as hard as to others. Himeka's career was simple. She worked hard and proved herself, but wasn't afforded nearly as many opportunities to show what she can truly do. She had a surprise match with Kamatani and bangers here and there, but ultimately, there's just a lot of room for potential that would never be seen. However, that doesn't mean my Hime shouldn't have won this year's Goddess League and beaten Meltier for their second Goddess Belts, with Himeka delivering the final blow of personal karma to Nuts Boy. But oh well. What we got instead was closure, and it was indeed beautiful. But first, she has to face Micah at the All-Star Grand Queendom, her final singles match in stardom, her rival and friend, Mina Shirakawa, as the ring announcer, and it's just like their five-star clash. Pure stubbornness, but Himeka does things she normally doesn't do and starts to get the entire crowd on her side, chanting Himeka in a beautiful little moment of complete support. And Micah using her strength with this awesome pure superplex and her refusal to let her friend beat her. Kicking out of the JP coaster and her power bomb, but Micah's ultimate strength would lead to Michinoku Driver after Michinoku Driver until she wells up with tears, delivering the final headbutt. Begging for Himeka to kick out so they can battle forever, Micah gives Himeka one more Michinoku Driver, but Himeka wouldn't kick out the match would end. Maiko wins and retires her best friend from stardom. Maiko will have to move on without her equal and such a loss can only torment such a strong spirit and drive her to change. However, Himeka will end her career elevating her best friend to the next level. Her final retirement ceremony involves wrestling the entire roster in one minute matches. The idea is to celebrate her career and have her mecha interact and close off her relationships with many of the wrestlers. It's a credit sequence to the career of her mecha. Strong warrior spirit who is super, super cute, but vicious. Down have fun adventures, lose to the little demon of evil, get killed by all of Uedo Tai all over the arena, complete death to the Jumbo Princess as Uedo Tai takes her down like. And then has to immediately play baseball with Mayu. And oh, Mayu hits the ref in the net. <laughs> 
It's that Simpsons episode, and Mighty pitches again, and Himeko with the hit, and home run! She won! And look at her be cute with Tam! Oh, she caught the contagious cuteness of Tam Nakano! Look at her! Look how cute she is! Wow! But she got to finish her stories with Poi, Mina, and Julia with a heartfelt loss, and Team with her best friend as Mai Hime for one final time. The beautiful Himeka, dressed appropriately as a princess, says her goodbyes to each unit, especially her only unit, Donald El Mondo. She says her goodbyes to the fans and signs us off. And that's that. It was a beautiful, simple retirement. Respect to Himeka for her career and for knowing when it was time to leave it all behind and find something else. But one thing is certain, if you see Himeka on the streets, leave her alone. That's her wish. So do so. Himeka has declared independence. However, her story doesn't end in a period. It ends with a comma. Special all-star thank you to my Patreon sponsors, Jeff Dupp, Channel Geek, Anthony, Kopi, T, Renee, Ace, Maddox, Justin, Matthew, Neil, John, Terrence, Danwick, Edward, Kev Mullen, Adam, Ray, Glorious Royals, Party, Marty, Punk, Wicks, Videos, Mina, Shira, Kawas, Boobas, Benji, Dr. Enzig, Juggernaut, Graphics, Polar Bear, Shut Up, Ingo, Ash, McGee, Combo, Underscore, Boggle, and Chicken.